The obvious pain that enveloped Sherry and Leah following her friend's tragic passing could not be hidden. Every night, going home together, you call me every morning. Charlie's angels, that's what they call us. You left us with so many unanswered questions, so many plans, that big house, that car, that maid. That plans for your future was just a fairy tale to me. Now you are watching down on us, my angel, from our Charlie's angel. Rest in peace. The echoes of unrestrained emotion moved through the National Cultural Center as Monroe College held a vigil in memory of Janelle Filgens. The young woman was one of four people killed in a violent vehicular collision last weekend. Janelle was Monroe College, and Monroe was Janelle's, says a professor Gus Small, who remembers the young lady as a vivacious and ambitious character. The pictures splattered all over the internet shortly after the wreck is not how any of those close to Filgens want to remember her. The dean, Ramesh Sinanan, says he refused to look at the images, even though he had been bombarded with calls about the postings. I don't want to see it. I don't want to remember Janelle in that way. I want to remember Janelle like the photograph you see up there, like how I've known her for the past two years. And you young people have to stop doing that. It's heartless, it's cruel, and it only pains you when it's yours, you know, when it hits close to home, that's when it matters. The same feelings were true for Janelle's favorite professor, Dr. Robert Lewis, who says she was like a daughter to him. Dr. Lewis describes her as having a brilliant mathematics mind. You see, the mathematical mind asks a lot of questions. And Janelle always wanted to sit next to me and ask me a question. And even when I answer, she still has to ask, why is that so? And that's why she had that freeze for me. I think it is, what's causing that for you, Dr. Lewis? And I was always touched by Janelle saying that to me because she always asked me the most difficult questions. I, I thought Janelle was like a, ch a daughter to me because she, she asked me things that my daughter asked me. Her father, Peter John, confessed he did not receive much formal education, but he wanted more for his daughters. John says his older daughter was a big dreamer, and she was determined to do something positive with her life. He laments some of the things people had to say about her, but his memory of Janelle would not be altered. I don't know when I'm going to stop thinking of Janelle. I don't think I'm going to stop. But anyway, I don't want to see the nonsense they're showing on, on, on the internet. People ask me if I, I've seen it. I said, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see nothing. I just want to rem I just um, be joining Janelle. Right now, she's like, she's overseas and I will not see her again. That's how I look at it. Witnesses say a black SUV heading north slammed into the motorcycle on which Phil Jens was riding, throwing her into the air and onto the ground with tremendous force. The bike rider, Kenny Foster, was also killed. The SUV also hit another car, killing both occupants on the spot. The driver of that vehicle escaped unscathed. Clinton Reynolds, HTS News, Channel 4.